So impact fits into my concussion protocol in the last few years um, through um, the fantastic expertise at Advanced Medical Services where I felt I had an extra support in terms of looking at the baseline testing and then looking at the post-concussion and feeling that my judgment, my clinical judgment was being rubber stamped. And recently, it was an interesting one, a player came in, a young hurler, and he was very obviously still having symptoms. And even though we didn't have a baseline test, we were able to do a test when he told me his symptoms were re resolving. And it was very obvious from his performance on the test that that was the case, because if he was suffering with the symptoms that he initially was suffering with, I don't think he could have performed as well as he did and as highly as he scored on the testing. And it gave me a lot of confidence about, in fact, when I rang him, he was on the golf course, which was one of the activities I allowed him back to. And I knew by talking to him that just things had improved a lot. But the, the extra information that I got from that uh, test really helped. And there have been other situations like that. So I think any objective evidence, and particularly impact, it's validated testing. It's a difficult test. I've done several of them, and it's a challenging test. And I think um, I found also that parents have been very supportive and reassured when you've been on the phone to say, look, you know, we've looked at the baseline, we've looked at the post-concussion test, and we're happy that your son or your daughter are now in a position to return to training or return to school.